Hey, this is Matthew. Today I'm reading a short story I wrote called Costumes. It's four hours before Adam's sister's 50th dress-up party, and we have no costumes. I was stressed. Adam and I have been talking about getting a costume now for weeks, and each time we decide to go, something changes. We enter the costume store. It's inside of what appears to be a large garage with an air conditioner keeping the place habitable. When we walked in, we weren't alone. There were nine people in the garage already, with the costumes taking up almost all the area. It felt like we just boarded a crowded train. Strangers, but with a shared purpose. Finding costumes. We started to look around, but it soon became apparent that we were not going to be getting anywhere without help. The whole place felt like a madhouse, and we aren't the type of couple to deal with madhouses as well. I particularly like organised places, places with clear instructions, Superman costumes here, changing rooms there, and this isn't that place. So Adam is already on his phone, looking for other possible costume places. We already tried another costume shop earlier, but that one turned out not to exist at all, which we only discovered after wandering around confused in the hot sun, me cursing whoever invented dress-up parties. Time was running out, so this was it. While we decided to stay, the family in front of us loudly considers what they will be for New Year's. The man who appears to be the father in the group says at least five times, I am always dressed as a woman. This year I want to be a man. To which the women in the group say, but you look so good as a woman. I don't know what he decided to go as, but his prospects weren't looking good for being a man on New Year's. Sarah, the business owner, is in her early 30s. She was dressed like an elf, fresh from helping Santa. She asked us what we wanted to go as, and Adam told her our somewhat half-baked idea. The thing was twisted fairy tales and good versus evil, and we wanted to be knights, who had left the princesses and run off together. Not all that twisted, but I think given the circumstances, it would hold together okay. Once Sarah heard the topic, it was like watching a miracle. She dashed around, turning what moments earlier were just random pieces of fabric hanging around into knights and armour. Within moments, she had the costume sorted. She had turned this place that felt so strange into somewhere fun in just minutes. It was almost like she performed a magic trick. We went over to pay for the costume hire and realised we didn't have the cash, and she only took cash. She didn't blink and just told us the amount. Please bring it back with the costume, she said. As she said goodbye, I noticed I felt trusted by this total stranger. How nice it felt to be trusted by someone I didn't know. I felt so lucky to have met her and indebted to her. Would I trust a total stranger like that? I don't think I would have before, but now I think I will. I think it'll be my turn to pay that trust forward someday soon.